I think this is one of the most challenging projects to take on. And that is to replace a really unique, unmatchable, highly beloved feature on our campus. When you look at the roof, it's made up of many different sheets that are held together with these solder joints, uh, which are the white lines um, that you see through its a little under 100 years of existence. It has started to pull apart where these plates join together. The material, as I said, is lead-coated copper, and that lead coating is a very thin topping coat and that lead wears off with time. Water through the years has gotten in below the uh, lead-coated copper roof. Counting in from the corners of the tower roof, there are five vertical battens, and then those are intersected by diagonal battens. Each time there's an intersection of diagonal batten to vertical batten is an opportunity for water to sit. And due to the severe deterioration of the roof at those batten intersections and of the overall sheet material, it became a urgent need to replace uh, the roof. It, we had this eureka moment where uh, we collectively realized if we reduce the number of vertical battens down to two, we would have less intersections of these battens, right, that, were, that are forming these little V valleys where water will sit. And so the, the design was simplified and then really tightened around those intersections to create these ramps or slopes for the water to run off and down uh, and not pool <coughs> up in those, those valleys. And ultimately, it was decided that sheet lead was the best material to use. Sheet lead is homogenous throughout the entire material. The new sheet lead roof will be a mottled gray. Its minor detailing changes, I do not think will be perceptible from the ground level. The design wholly intends to maintain and keep what is a very beloved architectural feature on our campus. Um, but whenever you press the restart button, you're going to have created something new that uh, will have uh, some distinction from the previous design. And that was a challenge that we had to, we had to work through. The tower is really a place of sound. It's what people look up and see and recognize for our leadership and research, for our leadership and scholarship. It is the place that most people consider the heart, the center of our university. What I really love about the work that we do is that we are trying to achieve design excellence. So to be part of this, um, this environment and part of this process uh, to restore um, and bring you know, another 100 plus years of life to the towers, it's a real thrill.